And hello YouTube, welcome to this video. Uh, so let me just check the volume. Yeah, so in this video, I actually want to okay, this is okay, looks good. All right in this video, I actually want to talk about a useful tool called Graph Reader. Okay, I mean that you don't actually have to use Graph Reader. Okay, you don't have to use Graph Reader exactly, but these are a class of tools which allow you to obtain data points, let's say from graphs, right? So you have a graph like this here, which you usually see in a literature, scientific papers online. Unfortunately, they don't give you a nice table of data values to copy all of this data from. You're kind of expected to just read it on your own. And it may or may not be easy for you to, let's say, if I want to follow, okay, look at this gray curve right here or orange curve. Uh, this orange or gray curve with this orange or uh, gray data points. Yeah, and now I'm, I'm trying to read this one at a time, right? Oh, 0 0.18 has a, a, a value of, I think, uh, 0 0.2 something, right? And then you got to kind of uh, jot that down what, uh, point by point, okay? Uh, is this the most practical way of doing things? Of course, uh, preferably we don't do it like that. Okay, so, uh, the a better way is to actually have a software to help us uh, read the graph. Okay, and, and that's the demonstration part that comes shortly. So firstly, uh, where do we go? We can go to graphreader.com. This is just one of such softwares. You will need to uh, engage JavaScript uh, for this. And you'll need to take a screenshot of this graph right here. So let's take a screenshot of this graph. I will, uh, you can use whatever screenshot uh, tool you can have. Uh, and what I'll do is uh, I will take a new screenshot. I'll need to drag this uh, baby, uh, drag this guy away. Uh, I will okay, take a new screenshot. Okay, now, now that you see that this part is actually away from the graph area so that it won't interfere. But uh, for the purposes of what we are doing, even if it interferes a bit, uh, it, it's still fine as long as you can see all the data points. Okay, so copy this bit. And I will just press enter and it will give us this little graph here. Okay, I will just save it to, uh, I'll just save it uh, to here. Yeah, okay, I'll just save, save over this file. Uh, overwrite. Okay, and this, this is the file I will save. And uh, I will, um, I will just uh, use this image to kind of extract myself some data points. So I'm going to browse this and I'm going to take this uh, take this thing open and I will just click go and this is the image right here. What you will need to do is now align this blue colored box with the axis of the graph. Okay, so align the blue colored box with the axis of the graph. Okay, so that's the goal here. So that uh, uh, what what it will do is of course it will it will find the maximum x and y points and then it will do some sort of linear interpolation. You can actually make your own programs like these, but yeah, uh, with uh, MS Paint or something. But this is much better. Okay, so uh, let's let's just begin by aligning these uh, points. So sometimes the mouse is a bit sensitive. So uh, yeah, you get a few things you can do to help yourself. Firstly, of course, get a good mouse pad. You get a good mouse pad uh all right so get a good mouse pad and um of course you can actually zoom in as well i'm using firefox so you can zoom all the way in so that you can make sure this this part is as large as possible so you get you can be as precise as possible and get the minimum amount of error so drag this point to the top left corner you drag this point to the top left corner and make sure the blue line covers all of this uh graph portions and then you drag this part down to the uh, bottom right hand corner make sure again the blue line covers the entire graph and you should be set okay once you're done okay so okay there are a set of steps down here that tell you what to do so select the png jpg or gif image and press go resize blue rectangle to set ruler for axis scaling that's what you have just done double click to insert uh curve fixed points okay so double click to uh, do the fixed points so for example i want the orange curve so i'll just double click here and if again uh, i find trouble 
uh, locating these points one at a time because of the mouse. You can just zoom all the way in here. And you can see that this part needs to be uh, adjusted a little bit. So adjust it as much as we can. Uh, try to get as perfect as possible so that you can get the best data points. So we, we do it by zooming in. So I'm going to uh, zoom in all the way, all the way in. And yeah, we, we want that precision right there. So next thing I'll do is just I'll double click on these orange points. Yeah, these orange points are, are the data points I want to get. Okay, to delete, just uh, right click to, to uh, input a data point. Just double click right here and you should be fine. So let's click roughly in the center. Okay, so the good thing about zooming in is that you don't have the precision uh, making your points more and more precise is much easier. You can see whether your points are centered. So just, just try to get them as centered as you can so that you can get a quality data. Okay, you can uh, adjust a little bit here and there. And that looks uh, okay. Looks okay-ish. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more to the top. Because the, the gray circles and the, the orange circles, they seem more and more to coincide with one another. So you just kind of repeat this uh, through everything. So, uh, okay, let me do this, do this. Okay. So it takes a while to get the hang of it. But the, the key thing is zoom in as much as you can. You should more or less get the points. Yeah. You should more or less get the right data points. Of, of course, when you zoom out, you'll see that, oh yeah, this, this looks actually pretty well centered. So just zoom in as much as you pos as you possibly can, and then uh yeah you center your points as much as you can. Okay, just double click here. Okay, double click here. Double click here. All right, and I'll zoom in more where you can see almost the the gold the the yellow and uh, not the yellow the orange and the or at least the bottom curves. The bottom data points, the dots are almost coinciding very nicely. So you might as well just click on the gray bits. And now even the gray bits and the blue bits are, are more and more precise, close together. Right, so as close as you can, as close as you can, uh, just do your best. Okay. And uh, of course, when your data points kind of get grouped closer and closer, it gets harder and harder to differentiate them. So just do your best here. Uh, and then I guess you can have some like error bars later on. Okay, as close as you can. Move this a little bit up, a little bit up. Okay, and you see all the the points kind of coincide. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. And uh, yeah, right on the dot here. So as long as you 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 just double click on it, don't drag it around. It should be fine. So we actually captured the orange curve pretty nicely. So we can uh, zoom out and we'll see that hey, this this looks actually pretty decent. I mean, for graph reading software, uh, that we have to manually click one thing at a time. Uh, and then what do we do now? Okay. Uh, insert the fixed points. Okay. Resize blue rectangle for axis scaling, set values for x and y axis accordingly. So actually I have not done this part which I highlighted here yet. Set values for x and y axis scaling accordingly. So what is the y axis scaling here? Okay, the minimum of the y axis is 0 here. The maximum is 2. So y low has to be 0. Y high has to be 2. So I'm going pretty fast here. Then what about the x axis? It's a kg per second but the lowest is 0. x low is 0. The highest is 0 0.18. Okay, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.18. Yeah, and you can see for dates, use the format YYMMDD, that sort of thing. Okay, and then what, what's the next step? Okay, we have set the values, we have double click on the points, and then we can click generate curve to sample the curve. Use the controls below to redraw the output. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'll try a spline interpolation, or linear interpolation is also okay. Okay, uh... Linear interpolation is also okay, uh, but yeah, the best is for this is a spline. If you're not sure, uh, I've got to read up. I'm not going to explain it now. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as the standard and let's generate the curve. Okay, so generate curve and use controls to redraw output. 
Okay, most important thing here is that you look at this. This is the inserted uh, what fixed points. Inserted fixed points are here. Okay, you can see that all the, the values have been got, have done, done over here. And you can actually just take a look at the plotter. Or maybe, okay, first thing first, get the CSV. Okay, this is the CSV file. Okay, which I guess you can actually save. Uh, yeah, we can actually just uh, save this data. Uh, let's see. Is that a save? Okay, we can just copy and then let's uh, put in LibreOffice. Okay, LibreOffice, Excel, Google Sheets, whatever. Okay, so just put it in LibreOffice and we can save it as a, like a CSV or something. We, we paste it here. We use automatic import. Oh, it doesn't work so well. Okay, never mind. Don't save. The alternative is to put it in a text file and then save that as a CSV. So I'm going to go maybe to... Okay, let me just use Vim. Oh boy. Okay, uh, let's insert these values here. I'm going to, uh, okay, let's paste it again. And I'll save it. Okay. Touch uh, data.csv, or maybe I'll just call this orange curve. Okay, uh, uh, let's, let's take a look at what the curve is supposed to be. Okay, the orange curve here is called M41. So let's just call it M41.csv. Touch M41.csv. And then LS here, go to the left hand side, reload uh, nerd tree. Uh, for those of you who use Vim, you should be very familiar. Look at M41.csv and uh, we'll bring this to the right. Control Shift uh, L. Or Control W Shift L. Pardon me. Insert mode and paste. And let's save the CSV file. And I think we are pretty much done here. Quit, quit this. Uh, exit the terminal. Quit and quit all. Okay. So we have a CSV file here, which we can now open with uh, LibreOffice. Okay, LibreOffice calc. Now let's open the CSV file. And we'll go to our home and we'll have our m41.csv here import the values okay and they are nicely over here uh maybe uh maybe you can save this as uh save this as what uh not a csv file anymore maybe you call it odt or ods xl s wow you know i don't find the oh there's a united office format spreadsheet save as xl 2007365 xlsx Excel 97. Okay, we'll just use the Excel, right? We'll just use the Excel. Okay, and then we'll just uh, just save it like that. Okay. Um, whatever. Okay. So let's insert a chart. And then we'll just do a scatter plot. And then sort by X values. And uh, we'll just finish. And yeah, this, this is our... This is our plot, which kind of uh, hopefully reflects the orange curve very well. Most importantly, we actually have our data saved as a CSV file, which we can just uh, do. Okay, so so that's that's what I have. Uh, this uh, graphing software called Graph Reader. We can we can actually get a CSV file. We can even get a JSON file if that actually uh, helps us a little bit. Uh, if you want to put it in a code or something. You can absolutely do that. Yeah, so uh, maybe you can get C-sharp to, to do a JSON. So, yeah, okay, JSON file. Okay, so JavaScript object notation. So this is this is a standard format. Okay, uh, I can just, uh, can you see, you can see it's a key and, what's a key, key and what value? key and value pair so we can actually save as a json file as well since it's available why not let's just use it okay so let's 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 do that also touch uh, m41.json and let's vim uh, clear this and let's go to m41.json and let's paste okay insert paste okay so uh, let's go to the beginning 
we'll just do this here we'll have x and then we'll just uh, go down and then we'll have y go to the end and save okay so it looks it looks properly formatted like a json file like uh, javascript object notation uh commas at the end uh, uh curly braces semicolons okay maybe we'll format it a little better but i mean as far as as far as things goes this this looks actually pretty decent uh as, as far as uh json uh, files go so m41.json uh, we have our json file we can use this to import into c sharp whatever csvs we can use it to import uh to uh to LibreOffice or excel or whatever you know so that's all i have i think uh, that's enough uh hope, hope you found this use these tools useful now uh, just uh quit all of course i'll write it before quitting that's yeah we can quit all and then we'll have this csv and json files uh, there okay so that's all i have thanks you thank you very much i'll see you again bye, -bye.